Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ron, and today we are going to be going over Demo's weapons and Killing Floor 2. We're going to be ranking them here in our tier list, I haven't talked about Demo in a while. Demo is a super fun class, and they have some of the funnest weapons in the game, probably the most fun weapons in the game, at least overall. So, uh, let's get started. First up we've got Demo's Knife. Just like all the knives, I'm going to put this one into D tier. Knife really isn't worth using unless you absolutely have to to either block or to survive when you're completely out of ammo. Demo doesn't really want to get into melee range because you're, you're kind of squishy. You do have your passive of the armor, so you have potentially not getting one shot, but you still don't want to use that up if you can. Your reactive armor is precious. You want to keep that as long as you can. Uh, 9mm is also going to go into D tier. Again, it's going to be a weapon that you're probably going to use with demo, especially early on, because you can run through ammo fairly quick with demo. They don't always have the most amount of shots, and their ammo is kind of expensive, so lying on the 9mm is reasonable, and it's great for taking out small enemies, but it's really going to be a secondary option. You're only going to want to use it against really small enemies, and that's about it. You don't get any bonuses from it, so it's okay. Then let's go over your grenade, which is the half stick of dynamite. This one has the highest amount of damage out of any of the grenades besides the frag grenade which has a bit more or at least higher potential and the high explosive grenade that commando has but uh commandos has a much shorter fuse time this one has a really high chance of stunning though and it will go off instantly if you hit a zed directly with it but if not then it has the longest fuse time of something like four seconds usually the way i like to use this is get up close throw this in something like a scrape's face to stun it and then go at it with whatever my primary weapon is or use this on a flesh bound and do the same that's a pretty good option. If you're just throwing it into crowds, it can work okay. It kind of depends on how many Zeds are congregating around there. If you have something like a Berserker right there, might be a good, decent option. But if it's just a hallway, who knows how it'll go. So this one, I'm going to put into B tier. It's a fine grenade. Nothing super spectacular, but nothing real bad either. Then we have the grenade pistol. A grenade pistol is actually really good for a starting weapon. It's the most expensive starting weapon, so you can sell it for the highest price at 150 That's really nice. It has a nice bash attack. Get used to using your bash attack as demo because you're going to be using it a lot early on. And it can't cause any friendly fire. Real big plus to uh, demo right there. It also scales really well with upgrades, doing pretty high damage. If you fully upgrade this thing, you can still kill like full size flesh pounds fairly fast. This one I'm going to put up in A tier. It's an all around solid tier 1 weapon. Then we move on to our tier 2 weapons where we have the Tommy Boom. This one early on is honestly not that bad. It's got a decent amount of shots in it. It has a slow rate of fire. It's really fun to use with nukes, especially if you have a commando that's good at extending the Z time. If not, it's kind of meh and you really don't want to upgrade it because its weight just is already fairly high. It's going to get even heavier and its damage really doesn't scale that well with upgrades. So this one is probably going to be B tier early on, maybe fall down to C tier as the game goes on though. I guess I'd put it into C tier because again, for like wave two, three, um, assuming you're doing like seven or ten rounds, maybe you're up to wave like five on ten rounds, Tommy Boom will serve you just fine. Later than that, it's really going to be just kind of a gimmick to use the nukes. Then we have the new weapon. This is the Cross Boom. This is the Explosive Crossbow. This has two fire modes. Both do kind of the same thing, where your primary fire mode sticks into an enemy, does a little bit of damage, very, very little and then explodes, deals damage to them. This is a higher damaging explosion compared to the secondary fire, which has a bigger explosion radius and does more, uh, I guess, AOE damage overall, but the overall damage is less, if that kind of makes sense. So if you stick something directly, you're gonna do more. If you stick something indirectly, or I guess with the secondary fire, you're gonna do less. It's okay. It's not really the best on demo. You don't really wanna have another one-shot weapon at least early on, and you don't really want to throw upgrades into it because it kind of gets outcompeted by other weapons, which we'll talk about later. So, Cross Boom is probably like C tier, still very fun, but just not the most practical. Then we've got the Grenade Launcher. This one's a pretty straightforward weapon. This one has a really big explosion radius. It's a single shot grenade launcher. This one does have an arming distance though, so you have to make sure that you are shooting past an enemy if they're too close because otherwise it'll be a dud grenade still do high damage per shot but it doesn't really help you as much as an actual explosion dealing a lot of damage to a lot of enemies it is really easy to hurt yourself with this though too because it does have a big explosion radius but it is cheap it's a nice tier 2 weapon um i'm gonna put this one into b tier it scales okay with upgrades it's not bad to have as a backup weapon if you just want to be firing this into crowds at a distance great for clearing up small enemies c4 is all around a really solid weapon 
I like it a lot. I'm going to put this one into A tier. You can't upgrade C4, which is kind of unfortunate, but it does do really high damage. And as long as you're higher leveled with Demo, you do get a lot of C4. It's really good on boss wave, and it's pretty good if you can stick it onto like quarter pounds or onto flesh pounds. It's really fun to stick these onto enemies, but do remember every time that you set off C4, it does less damage so long as they're set off like one after another. There is kind of a delay where you want to wait a second after you explode one and then set it off again. If you're setting them all off one after another, each uh, explosion that goes off will do reduce damage to whatever you're hitting with it. So make sure you kind of space these out. Uh, that is damage to the same target. If you're doing damage to multiple different targets, then it's going to be the, the same type of damage each time. So t there's times to use it frequently and times to use it infrequently. Then we move on to the tier three weapons, which we've got some really good ones. We've got the seal squeal here. The seal squeal is really good. And this is the weapon that pretty much out competes the cross boom because the impact damage does really high damage with the seal squeal as well as the explosion damage also does really high damage and it has a big explosion radius. You can set off multiple shots with this with its secondary fire. They'll all go off once you uh, trigger that or you can just wait for them to go off. It is easy to hurt yourself with this. It's also probably one of the funnest weapons in the game, if not the funnest weapon in the game, in my opinion. Uh, Seal Squeal is like very high A tier, maybe into S tier with upgrades. The main problem with the Seal Squeal is it weighs a kind of a weird amount and it upgrades kind of weird. But if you get used to the drop of the harpoons, it's super fun to use. Uh, M16 is decent on demo. It's all around OK. The assault rifle part is good at clearing up small enemies. Just the base M16 already doesn't have practically any recoil. It has really nice iron sights. The only problem is with demo, the only upgrade to it is really its uh, underbarrel grenade launcher for damage, which is a little bit disappointing. But at the same time, you're probably only going to be using that against big enemies or against crowds. And then you're going to be using the M16 against all the small enemies. So that's not so bad. It is kind of just a direct upgrade to the M79. Yes, this one can get stronger with upgrades, but for the same weight, you can take the M16, and I'd rather have the M16 than the M79 in most cases. I'm still gonna put this into like high B tier, low A tier. I think it's still a really solid weapon on demo. Then we've got the Kaboom Stick. This one is straight up S tier easily. Even if it wasn't on demo, even if this was on like Commando, it'd be S tier. This weapon is so strong. It does so high damage. It does something like 500, I want to say 500 damage with just one barrel and it has two barrels. Assuming you hit with all those pellets, which is unlikely if enemies are far away, its upgrades actually make it even stronger. It ha it scales decently well with upgrades. If you want to throw those into it, it's completely not necessary, but you can. You can't hurt yourself with this weapon at all. It has no friendly fire damage, so it's super beginner friendly. Pretty much just get point blank and shoot something in the face with it. You can also fire out both barrels at the same time, like as I sort of mentioned before. But if you jump when you're doing that, you can fling yourself backwards. So it gives you more mobility as well. And the best part about this is it only weighs six. It weighs as much as the M16 and costs about as much as the M16, but it's far, far better than the M16. And the M16 is already pretty good. And then this one is easy D tier. This is the pulverizer. This one is just not really a great weapon to have on demo. It's a melee weapon, which you don't want to be in melee range with demo. Yes, you can stack full like AOE damage on this and then use it to set off and kill all sorts of small enemies around you. And it's okay if you happen to take this and get King Flesh Pound as your boss because King Flesh Pound is really weak to melee weapons. He usually has to run up and punch you. And if you have this to block, he's not going to be able to hurt you that much. But aside from those situations, there's really not a great time to be using the pulverizer. It weighs six, so it weighs the same as these other weapons that we've already talked about. Then we move on to tier fours where we have the Seeker Six. The Seeker Six is honestly not too bad. Its auto targeting system is pretty good, but there's not a whole lot of maps you can use it on because this does have really long effective range and really long targeting range. It's just most maps are not super long, so you can't use it that well. It also has an arming distance, so if enemies are too close, it's basically like shooting a big revolver. It does do high damage per shot, but it won't cause the explosion. You can't really hurt yourself with this weapon, though. That's kind of nice. It also weighs a lot and it costs a lot, so it's just kind of in an awkward spot right now um, for what you get. I'm going to put it into like low B tier, but it's it can be solid on certain long maps like nuked or outpost or any place where you just have really long lines of sight then it's fine. Any sort of indoor map is where it really falls short though. Then we got the Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss is super fun, uh, really solid weapon. I'd put this one up into A tier. 
This one, you can fire out cannonballs, which do high damage and are super fun to use. They also have almost a 100% chance to stun or knock over enemies. And then its secondary fire acts like a giant shotgun, sort of like the nail gun, where the projectile can also bounce and hit multiple enemies. That's really nice, so you can use it for close range for that, or use it for sort of long range by firing the cannonballs. You do have to get used to the projectile drop, similar to the seal squeal. RPG is easy S tier. It's just super strong. Really high damage per shot. It does have an arming distance, but it's about impossible to hurt yourself with it because it does have the arming distance. Uh, it weighs nine, so you actually have really good options to pair this with, like the Kaboom Stick, which is a super strong combo. You could also pair it with the M16, the M79, Tommy Boom. Uh, I think you can pair it with Tommy Boom. I think Tommy Boom's only six. Those options all work. It also has a unique feature where it has two different damage types. Well, kind of three different damage types because it has shell damage, which is the actual projectile. This is what most demo weapons have, is a shell which is unaffected by most enemies' modifiers. I don't think it's actually affected by any enemies' modifiers, so it just does the flat amount of damage. Then it has the explosion of the rocket, but it also has backblast damage, so anybody standing right behind the rocket launcher will also take damage. Uh, not friendlies, of course, but enemies will, and it does something like 150 damage to everything behind you. It's kind of funny to fling enemies backward with it. The RPG also has some weird modifiers, where it has a four times bonus damage towards strikes for some reason. Uh, just the rocket itself, not actually the explosion. The strike will resist the explosion, but not the rocket, um, which doesn't really matter. Even on six man hell on earth, if you hit a strike in the head and the rocket explodes, you'll kill it. Uh, at least if you're running damage perks. And then we got the Husk Cannon. This one I've always felt is kind of weird on demo. Some people really like it, and I can understand with the nukes, you can spam them out pretty fast. I think it's better on Firebug personally, but it's still pretty solid on demo, so I think I'm gonna put this one into like high B tier, low A tier, somewhere around there. If you like spamming it, you like using the nukes, that's cool. You can also charge it up and fire it, deal extra fire damage to all sorts of small enemies and deal really high explosion damage. For me, this one just feels kind of weird because of the charge up and it does weigh a lot, so options are a little bit limited with it. But other than that, fairly solid weapon. Gravity Imploder, which Gravity Imploder is also kind of a weird weapon. I'd probably put this one into B tier somewhere in the middle. This one lets you fire out essentially a black hole that sucks all enemies in and deals damage to them, or at least deals damage to everything in the area. Its secondary fire is more of a black hole where it fires and then sucks everything in and stuns it, but does very low damage. The damage is okay with this one. Its weight is kind of wonky. It used to be better once it was lower weight and you could take other weapons with it, but since they upped it, it's honestly not a great option to take, mostly because it gets outshined by like the rocket launcher, but still, it's fine. And then we have the M32 grenade launcher. This is a tier five one where it's essentially six M79s attached to one weapon. Uh, this one's another C tier. It is fun to use, but it's kind of just average. It weighs a lot, and it has a really long reload time. It also has an arming distance, so you have to keep that in mind. Its damage per shot is okay. It does decently well against crowds. It can make somewhat use of nukes, but if you wanted a weapon like this, the Seal Squeal is generally a better option. Even like the Seeker 6, I would say, is a better option than this thing, just because the Seeker 6 actually shoots fast and reloads fast. I think this is where I'd put all of Demo's weapons as of right now. Demo has some really solid weapons, a couple disappointing weapons, but overall, super fun weapons. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so very much for watching it. And special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos just like this. If you'd like to be a part of that, you can. There are links down in the description. Be sure to check those out. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye!